Uh, this is Hotbit. I'm here with Geoff in Control Robinson. Um, he is the premier member of Team Evil Geniuses, and uh, he finished fourth in the last MLG. So he's looking to improve on that this time. Uh, what are your goals? That's it, to improve upon that. I mean, fourth place so is good. It's not great. Um, in a lot of competitions, there's no, no medal even associated with the fourth place. So it's okay for me because I haven't been winning terms before that, but I still want to win tournaments. So I come here with the expectation of placing higher. Um, it's going to be pretty hard with all the Koreans in. Um, you did manage to uh, play one of them in groups, uh, La Sierra. Yeah. Um, how is he as a player, and uh, how do you think those games went? It, they were disappointing. Um, whenever you sit down with a really, really good opponent, it's an opportunity to really show off your skills, and I don't think that match did that. We had a lot of technical difficulties. Um, he even came out and said he might have played with his mouse only, which, by the way, is a huge D move. Uh, if you lose, give all the excuses you want, look to Idra. When Indra wins, he doesn't go, well, I, blah, blah, blah. he's like, yeah, good match, you know. So I was a little bit disappointed to hear Lucera be like, just so you know, I, I, I would have won better. It's like, okay, cool, man. So uh, that sucked. And I was way ahead game one, and there was the disconnect. And then, um, well, not disconnect, he just couldn't play it out. Um, and then the last game, I had to experience that feeling I've experienced a few times in my career. And let me tell you, if you haven't experienced it, it's the worst feeling in the world. Because you crush their army, you're smashing their base. And your brain and your heart goes, you won, Jeff. Awesome. You've, you've done it. You beat Lucere. The people are going to go wild. And my head's saying that. And then a bunch of mutas pulled up. And then your heart goes, you failed. You lost. You had him and you lost. And, and uh, I, had to, like, I did that in two seconds. So it was, I, I would have thrown up all over, but it would splatter the, the, the booth. So couldn't do it. Um, we had uh, the relay race a few days ago. Yes. And uh, you know, MLG beat us all. Well, everyone beat me. <laughs> I came in last in the time, so yeah. But, I mean, you got a little courage for even participating. I oh, mean, yeah. So, are you going to train a little harder for the Anaheim one? <laughs> I'll bring different shoes. It was really funny. I, I, I don't have any, like, uh, delusions that I'm the fastest guy out there. I'm not. But I could have ran faster. I, I was running halfway through, and the shoes are so light that my feet were, like, kicking up higher and higher. It was like uh, I was running on air or some shit. So, uh, in... The only thing that would have been worse than coming in last like I did would have been doing the 45-foot the fall where you start like going down. And I have all the cameras like, yes! And uh, so I didn't want to do that. So I did not run as fast as I could. Um, you've been busy recently. Um, you, had, you have casting, you have coaching, you have playing. How do, how do you manage your time? Is It's just insane. How do you, do you have any special techniques? You know, um, I've been humbled by it. There's been times where I found, like, people would ask me that and I was like, Oh, I can do it. It's been fine. And it, ha it had been fine. Um, but then when there's a little bit of a a gear thrown, or a wrench thrown in the gear, rather, where, like, I miss a flight and I have the pleasure of staying with you guys in New York, but I miss out on two days or three days of practice time, or um, I need to do that trip in general, and I'm, I can't play when I'm uh, traveling all day. So if anything little like that happens, my training gets nuked, and then I have to step into a tournament, like, a week later. So... Um, I'm, I stand before you saying that's too much. It has affected my play, and that's why in the future changes will be made, and I'll be much more resilient to things like that. I'll be able to take a trip like that, but I'll be buffered by hours and hours of training on either end. So uh, I hope to be a better player in the future. So this guy's a fan first. I mean, like he was at our place. He had nothing to do. He didn't want to go out. He just wanted to play some StarCraft, yeah. and he was sitting there, baneling busting people like 30 games straight on like a Smurf account. And uh, how did that feel? Did it feel dirty? It was. It was hilarious. Uh, I, <laughs> As a Protoss player. Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally, all three matchups, I did one hatch Banley bust into Expand against all three races, and I got it to Master's account, I think. Maybe it was High Dime, or whatever. It was, it was just... I could hear this guy giggling behind me every time he Baneling busts someone new. Like, I wish I could do this. It's because everyone has a comment, too. It's like, it's like the, it's, it's the equivalent of, um, like, in T-Ball, people talking shit, like, yelling at you, like... You're bunting and t-balling, <laughs> yelling at you. So it was funny. All right. Well, uh, good luck, and we hope to see you in the championship bracket. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. And good luck to all of Team Liquid, too. They're doing really well. Tyler, finally, defeating Select. I mean, that, that's a win in general. I mean, how, how do you beat Select at a stage like this and not be happy? It's impossible. And he almost took out MC. Yeah. One he had MC on the ropes.